So hi all, this is IK0YGJ. Today we are going to test the 9A5N solid state CW paddle. I met Nen on 9A5N in Friedrichshafen and was quite impressed by the ability of this key to go QRQ. This key, and this is the revolution, it has no moving parts, so no mechanical energy to be absorbed, hence it is a rigid system. Finger key presses are literally measured by an electronic scale system, which is adjustable in sensitivity. This design choice has several strengths. First of all, it is firm and stable, not only because it weights 1 kg and, and 800 grams, but also because you do not have to move parts, so this is a rigid system, so it does not absorb energy. This also means that this key is absolutely precise. There is no mechanical precision to be measured, since you have a scale system behind it. No residual energy and no movement parts, no parts in movement, mean that uh, this is ideal for QRQ. The ski always reacts in the same manner to manipulation. It gives back always the same feeling when you press the paddles. It is not only a matter of going fast with this key, you can also go slow with it. When you go slower in QRS, the consistency of reaction by this key make it very relaxing to manipulate. You do not have to adapt on how it reacts from your manipulation. This is a feature that comes from the fact that this is a rigid system, so you have back the same feeling when you press the paddles. Also, when you put your key in the desk, you just adjust it once and forget it. Probably you have to change the adjustment, I mean the sensitivity to pressure of the electronic scale system to adjust it from QRQ to slower CW. This force is measured in units of 5 grams. You can make it harder to manipulate or softer to manipulate by a simple adjustment via software. You do this by pressing the paddles of the key. In the following part of the video we are going to demonstrate the interesting performances of this key. And we will be doing so at different speeds. We will be going to range from 20 WPM, 100 characters per minute, up to the full scale of a typical modern transceiver, 60 WPM or 300 characters per minute. Let's see how it works.